guys. Hello guys, I want to show you how we can make some image adjustments to this photograph, this JPEG, already in Corel Raw without having to go to uh, Corel Photo Paint or let's say Corel Paint Shop Pro or Open Source GIMP or for that matter that other program called Photoshop or any other raster program. So um, uh, so some things we can already do in, for, in Corel Raw, as I said. This image, for example, you can find in Coral Connect, which you can see here, this icon here, search content. In Coral Raw X8, it's uh, more or less, you can see for this image here, it's called Get More and Connect. That's basically the same thing. So um, usually when I'm going to do something with bitmaps, you would instantly start to think about here in the menu where it says bitmap. Do something with a bitmap image, we go to bitmap. But actually, if you look to the left, you have an in this effect menu you see envelope, extrude, bevel and so on that's the um, vector effects features of course uh, for images for a vector but actually if you look to adjust you actually find these two as well so it, I'm just pausing here a little bit so you can see which one we can use we can actually use quite a lot here so I'm just going to start with tone curve here and I'm just going to slightly drag it a little bit down here to the left and as you can see here, the left image with this young woman in a white t-shirt is the so-called original. And C2, which I have done in my case, select the one that I want to make some changes to. And then simply look down here, it says active channels. I'm going to do uh, use RGB channel. And then I'm going to simply drag it down a little bit. That made it a little bit more darker. I can then choose if I want to go with red or green. I'm actually going to go with blue and look at the background now what happens actually so it affects affects the whole image her skin tone it's like she had been out in the sun a little bit more something like that and her hair everything changes but it, uh, but in this case that would actually be okay for this uh, for this little tutorial and honestly also I think it actually looks perfectly okay um, so um, that's very uh, easy steps how we can change the image. For example, if I would go back now again and go to adjust, now let's see if we can change that, uh, select that image again, and then go to back to adjust, and then we could s simply try something else and choose desaturate. That actually made it more gray. Again, this had some image adjustments to it uh, from the start. Um, so if we go to the image that has been the original which I didn't put any tone curve effect to and go back to to saturate you can see that it actually is a bit brighter so that's also a very quick way of getting a a, um, a grayscale black and white image photo um, of course there's so much more you can do if you open the program the image in let's say Coral Photo Paint or that other program called Photoshop so but you as you can see there's so many things we can do already in Coral Draw without using the other programs I hope this um, little tip uh, gave you some insights and it's, um, well, it's wonderful, isn't it, how much we can do uh, in so many few steps. Okay, so I hope you have a great day. Thank you.